Hello everyone, it's Joshua Paul Bernard here and today I have a Tabula example about how to create custom regions and territories in Tabula. Now this is great for when you want to be able to group your data up uh, based on a region that is not already specified because in Tabula the regions are our zip code, our city, our count, uh, state, county, and country. But here, as you can see right now, I have the whole world split up <clears throat> into the regions such as USA and Canada, Caribbean, Latin America, Eastern Europe, Southern Africa, um, Australasia. You know, it's, it's nice and organized. And not only does it allow us to organize our maps, but you can also use this grouping to organize, to, to analyze the actual regions themselves, instead of the individual countries. So now we'll start by loading up the data. So if you haven't already, download the data. The link is below. Once you have that data loaded, I'm, I'm using the adopt hyper here because I'm continuing from the last example on uh, creating the data set. But if you're just starting from here, you can download the CSV and join us. So go ahead and load that into CSV, uh, into a tabula. Now we'll want to uh, say, uh, go to our worksheet one and rename our sheet one to continent and then create a second sheet and rename that to regions, custom regions, and return back to a continent and give this a quick save. And let's just save it as custom regions example. Perfect. So now you should have a screen that looks somewhat like mine. So now we're gonna create our map of the world with countries, but we're going to group them by the continent. So you'll still see the individual countries, but they'll be grouped by color by continent. So let's go ahead and get rid of that show me menu. We won't be needing that. And go ahead and uh, take the latitude generated uh, measure and drag that over two rows and bring longitude over two columns. And now you should have a map. And then now we will use the country dimension, bring it on over to detail, and bring continent on over to color. And then we're going to change the marks type from automatic to map. This will create the filled map. And bam, there we go. Now we have our map, and we can see we have... United States and is within the North American continent. Or we have China and it's within the Asian continent. <clears throat> or uh, the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo and it's in Africa. So that's fantastic. And we've been able to create a, our own filled uh, map, filled uh, map without using the show me menu. So now let's go ahead and continue on. We'll go to uh, the custom regions tab. And we're going to change the region role over to uh, geographic and create that from uh, country. Should have done that with continent as well, though. As we've seen, doesn't matter a huge deal. Just good to have, have it be organized. So now go ahead and bring latitude on over to rows again and longitude on over to columns. And then we will bring region on over to detail and over to color and then change the uh, marks type over to map again and then just like that we have our very own world map customly coded to our regions we got the balkans we got northern europe we've got We've got Melanesia, and you look out here, we've got Micronesia, and it's hard to select those, and uh, Central Africa. So this is really powerful. This not only allows us to, to map our own custom regions of the world, we can also, organ we can also analyze them and, and compare them, and uh, allows us to get deeper into our analyses. So uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you can use this information in your work with your clients and make wonderful visualizations. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.